Hello and welcome back to a new Roblox scripting tutorial. In this video I will be making my own filter and just to keep this um, in mind you need to have a filter in any text that other players can see that um, basically any player can edit so keep that in mind and if you don't your game could get deleted so yeah keep keep that in mind so basically what I've done is it'll have a text label here at the top saying whether it was filtered filtered or it will um, say just the text uh, and I actually in this video have it so if you just want it to have the filtered like the hashtags instead of saying it was filtered like it says here it says filtered um, then it'll do that. So let's say I wanted to say, hi, I'm not going to say my name is because that's probably filtered as well. Um, hi, I'm a human. And then it'll basically do it. It'll say the right thing if it is not filtered. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I have this UI here. So you can basically enter, like, for example, a pet name, and then you click submit, and it'll basically give you the result and then also I have a client script and a server script both are empty right now and a remote function in replicated storage and that's pretty much all you need to get this working now um, the reason um, um, this works is a chat service has a feature called filter string so that's basically how it works. I'll just show that. Text service filter string async. It um, basically, you need to give a string from user ID and text content. But the problem is uh, this doesn't work on client scripts. So that's why we have a remote function. So we can do this on the server. So um, let's get started. First of all, we need services and we're gonna need replicated storage. So I'll say game get service replicated storage. And then I'll say uh, we want filter local filter string function equals replicated storage. Wait for child filter string function. Just like that. And then we're basically going to define first of all the submit button. So local submit button equals script parent dot submit button obviously this only works if your script is um, with your other things if not you'll have to make a different directory and i'll say local well no i'm not going to do that yet and we're basically going to say submit button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then i'll say local text entered equals equals script dot parent dot name entry box dot text and the reason we're not doing this outside is because well if it does if it if we don't if we do it at the start it's going to be nothing because the player hasn't had time to type anything in there we only want to fire when somebody submits something so um, now that we have that we're basically just going to say filter string function well we're going to say local result um, was filtered equals filter string function colon invoke server because it's a remote function we need to say invoke server and we're basically just going to give the text entered and I'll show I'll explain why we have was filter in a second I'm going to um, well, I, I'll, yeah never mind um, but basically now what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing on the server we're gonna get these and then basically we're gonna say filter string function dot on server invoke equals function and then we're basically getting the player and the text they entered and keep in mind if you don't have the player um, it, it's in order not based on the name so uh, player isn't here but players passed automatically so if you don't have the player, it'll think text entered it is the player, just to give you a heads up. So then we're going to say local filtered text, um, or filtered instance, I guess is a better way to put it. Because it's not actually text the first time you do it. You have to um, convert it into some use case, and I'll explain that. 
in a second. And also now we need to define text service. So I will say local text service equals game get service text service. So I keep forgetting to zoom in on these videos. Um, <laughs> so then we're going to say local fix filtered instance equals text service colon filter string async. And then we're going to give the text entered. And then let me look at this again. So you need string to filter, then from user ID or the player's user ID, and then text context. Um, so player dot user ID. Then the last one, enum dot filter text context or text filter context. And that's basically just referring to if it's privately talking to someone or privately for them or public. I guess private just means probably for them, but I don't know. You don't really need to filter it then. It's not required because it's obviously just for them. So yeah, after that, what we're going to do is say local um, filtered string. And we actually need to do this as well as the thing. And I'll bring this. Um, all right. Um, but basically what it is, is it's equal to, we get the filtered instance we created and we say, why, why isn't it in here now? Text filter context. That's great. Why isn't it showing up? I'm trying to look at this on my other monitor and it's not filtered by user ID Roblox. Come on. Why is it not coming up now? All right, well, I'll just get an example from down here somewhere. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> um, yeah, so here it calls it text object. All right, get non non chat string. Uh, we're actually going to say get non chat string for player uh, get non chat string for user ID. I think it is for user ID. Let me just make sure that's correct. Wow, don't you just love when there's like no get non chat string. Uh, filter string for broadcast. That's not what I want, but it's going to be in the same list, I think. So, function of chat. All right, I'm back after uh, a bunch of looking for what I was actually doing. I hope that wasn't a weird cut that I just did. But in our case, we're going to use get non chat string for user async. And we're basically going to give the player's user ID. So basically, as you might know, there are two types of filtering 13, um, ages 13 or under, or 13 plus. And basically, 13 plus can say more things. So that's why we're doing that so it can um, do the the filtering for that. So then basically what we're going to do is say, uh, well, first of all, I'll explain if you just want to get the text, then you just do return filtered string. And then basically it will, the first value in here will be result. So I'll say result, well, no, I'll say, let me get the the result. So local result label equals script dot parent dot result. And I'll say result label dot text equals result. And I don't know if I actually showed you the result label. It's just up here though. So now if we test this, it should work just fine. And you have to, uh, for testing this, uh, in studio, chat filtering doesn't work or string filtering. 
So, or at least from what I've seen. So you actually need to go into the game. Obviously, I'm not going to say any bad words to test it. I'm just going to say free Robux. And as you see, um, it basically sends the filtered version and puts it up here. So now I'm going to, let's say you had something where if it was filtered in any way, you just wanted to say, um, well, just tell them and like cancel whatever you were doing in that case. So then you'd say, if filtered string is equal to text entered, then what you basically want to do is return the filtered string and then you want to say um, false in that case, which means we named this variable um, was filtered. So if it's the same, that means it's it was not filtered. And we're going to say else return filtered string true. And then basically in here, I'm basically going to say if was filtered is equal to false, then we will return the result normally. Else though, we will say result label dot text equals um, filtered. And we'll also, no, I'm not gonna make it red because then we'll have to set it back. And that's a lot. We, I'm just trying to show an example. I don't need to make it look fancy really. All right, so I'm reopening studio. You can hurry up. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Uh, now if I type free Robux, you'll see it says filtered instead of giving the thing. Now um, this will work, let's say you say like, hi, I'm a person, and then you're like, free Robux. And in parentheses, then it'll still, let me just say hi to show you. Hi, I'm a person. And I'll say, and just in case they didn't know, free Robux. And it'll say filtered because this part of the message was filtered. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you find it informative. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, as well as turning on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video, as well as joining the Discord server in the description. And thanks and goodbye.